Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I'm very excited to welcome back to the channel with some upgrades and changes, the Wordy Traveler. I think the box is super cute and I think that this is their fall box. It is a quarterly subscription. I am happy to say that this one was sent to me for review. Now, about a year ago, I was subscribed for a full year, but at that time they had two different tiers. They had the backpack and the suitcase and I could just never really swing getting more than the backpack, but I thought that the suitcase looked like what I would really be interested in. Now, I'm not entirely sure what they have sent me, but I will tell you right now that I do have a code for you, and it's Noel, just Noel, as well as an affiliate link, and that will save you 15%. Now, what's great about the Wordy Traveler now is that it is super duper customizable, and if you couldn't already tell, it combines two of my favorite things, which is reading and books, as well as travel. So we'll probably wind up on both of those playlists here on my channel. By the way, if you didn't already know, I do have playlists for the different categories that I open beyond lifestyle because a majority of the boxes are lifestyle, so I don't have a playlist for that. But if you're looking for book boxes or you're looking for travel boxes or even Canadian boxes, you can go and find those playlists and then you can just find the right box for you. So like I said, this one was sent to me for review. I don't know how many books there are, but I'm going to give you kind of the rundown on the prices as well as the different variations that they have. So if you just do one book per quarter, it's $54.99 plus shipping. And I kind of went through the checkout process. To me here in California, the shipping was around $10. I think it was $9.90. Remember, books are definitely heavier than some other items in other boxes. So that kind of makes sense. Now, if you do two books and you can decide if you want not nonfiction or fiction. You can do two books and of course you can do two nonfiction or two fiction or you can split that down the middle which is what I would probably do. That's $77.18 per box and then the shipping kind of doubles so it was like $22 to me here in California. There's also an option for three books and I believe you can do the same thing where you can do all three nonfiction, all three fiction or you can split it and go two fiction, one nonfiction two nonfiction, one fiction. You can, there's all these different options on the website that brings it to a hundred and just a little bit over a hundred dollars plus the shipping. The shipping wasn't much more though. It was like a hundred dollars and then like $20 in shipping. And that was for three books. Then they also have the four book option where it's two fiction and two nonfiction. That is, I believe 127. So you're definitely getting more for less increments. And then finally they do you have they do have a six book option I know kind of crazy you guys which is hundred and seventy dollars and change and then that's three fiction and three non I know it's kind of crazy but then even on top of that they have um, extension journeys which let's go ahead and get into the box and I'll talk a little bit more about it so there's different ways to do it so if you're doing four or six books I don't think you get to choose how many of each nonfiction or fiction you want but when you're doing just up to three you can so we got some paperwork here. So inside it was like not not too exciting, you know, just some pretty pretty tissue paper and our our little wordy traveler sticker, which of course we love that little elephant. He's so adorable. All right, so now we have a lot of paperwork. <laughs> So one just says, thank you for joining the Wordy community. It says, welcome to the Wordy Traveler community. We're excited to, you've joined us. We hope you absolutely love your journey. If there's any issue, let us know. So that's good. A little welcome. Um, and then we have subscriber benefits. So if you're a subscriber, you get 10% off all limited dishes limited editions or swag good to know you get dedicated email support access to flash sales let's see what else um ooh, this is big you guys it's uh the ability to choose your book titles so obviously it sounds like they've got like at least three nonfiction and at least um three fiction books i think they even have like an eight book option so it would be really nice if you're just getting maybe one of each to be able to choose the title so that's really cool and it does say they have an upgraded customer portal with the ability to skip quarters change your subscription and an easier interface to use all right we have more brochures so now these are actually going to go with our destination which for this quarter is india which i'm very excited about i was in india now it's been like a dozen years ago, so it's been quite some time, but I would love to go back to India. There were some things about it that were so beautiful, and I do really think that India is one of those experiences where if you can travel in India, 
you can travel almost anywhere. So we've got these two beautiful, full color, lovely things. So one says India journey, and then we've got a quote from Arundhati Roy that says, India lives in several centuries at the same time. And we have this a lovely image of a lady in her sari looking out at the Taj Mahal. Okay, so here on the back, it says non-subscription India extension journeys. So for example, you can get some extra books, extra tea and um, little extension journeys. And I think the extension journey run around $45 so you'll see that in the subscription window that you can add those on they also have a culinary subscription which I am really interested in maybe trying out one of these days it would have been great for the India one of course that's $64.99 and they even have a children's read with me option which was really well priced at just $16 so I have to like look into that more because I'm not sure what it includes but I think it's just like a little short story that you can read with your little ones so now I'm a little confused because inside this brochure it says items in your summer journey and I really thought this was the fall box so I'm a little confused but it does have some information about some of the items in here tells us how to continue your journey with the uh, culinary and read with me subscriptions that I just told you about. Oh, there's a Wordy Traveler podcast, good to know, and a Wordy Traveler community site for music, message boards, magazines, and events. So that's always nice. I always love having um, those online communities, although now I feel like I'm a bad participant in all of them. But then you guys here, this one is definitely linked to our India journey because again, we have like the, the, the Taj in the outline there and some India on the map. And it says, reading invokes the wisdom of the world. Writing invokes evokes the wisdom of your heart. And that's from Jyoti Arora. Um, but inside, so on here, it says that it's the holiday, the holiday edition. So I think the summer journey part, I think that was just a typo where they maybe didn't change that out. And I do think, well, and then at the bottom... <laughs> So inside we have fun facts and we also have a recipe, but then down here at the very bottom in the footer, it says that it is the winter box. So I thought it was the fall box. One piece of paper says it's the uh, summer box and this piece of paper says it's the holiday slash winter box. I don't know. I know that when you go onto the website now, it says that this is the journey that is available. So we're going to call it I guess it's the winter box. I guess it's the winter box. All right. I thought it was fall, but I guess it's winter. We have some information about uh, National Geographic expeditions if you actually want to go to the Taj. Uh, let's see. What else? So we have a recipe for alu palak, which sounds delicious. I think that's with with potatoes, right? Yes, with potatoes. Um, I love Indian food. You guys let me know in the comments below if you like Indian food. I think it is delicious. Um, and then fun facts about India, which is always kind of neat as well. So India is divided into 29 states. Did you know that? Um, let's see what else it says. Uh, India has over 300,000 mosques and over 2 million Hindu temples. There are Hindu temples everywhere and they're very ornate and beautiful. And it has 22 recognized languages so it's not just uh, Hindi and Tamil there are a ton uh, so let's see the numerous languages spoken across India include Santali, Kashmiri, Bengali, Tamil and Urdu however the official languages are English and Hindi cool all right let's let's get into the box right now that we've what do you guys think I'm, I'm pretty I guess I'll call it the winter box I don't know I don't know <laughs> I'm very curious to see what we got. So they always include an Ohio tea to go along with the destination and then some other fun little things. There's usually an art piece that is something that has carried over from when I last did the uh, Wordy Traveler. So I, now if I were subscribing on my own and it wasn't being sent to me for review, I would probably try to make it work to have in my budget one fiction and one nonfiction. I do really enjoy nonfiction, especially when it is travel writing. Um, however, uh, it looks like they just sent me one. If I was going to just choose one book, if I was just doing the $54.99, I would probably go with the fiction. But I would like to have this subscription where I got one of each. But it's per quarter, so it really just depends on how immersive you want to be. And I know some of you are voracious readers, so you might be like, I want three of each. Why not? All right, you guys. So let's see. It says, this is Arrow of the Blue Skinned God, and they put a Wordy Traveler selection sticker on the front by Jonah Blank. 
It says, possibly the most perceptive book that I've come across on India since the British Raj ended by Pranya Gupta uh, from the Washington Post. So it is a very slick and shiny paperback. So not a remainder, which kind of makes me happy, even though I don't mind getting remi remainder books. So it sounds like this is a nonfiction book, but a travel book. Very small font. Um, let's see. It's a uh, a little over 300 pages oh excuse me almost 400 pages like 360 something let's see we'll go ahead and read about it on the back hmm it sounds like it's historical as well so it's from the copyright is from 1992 it says the 2,000-year-old Sanskrit epic, the Ramayana, one of the greatest literary works in the, the ancient world, chronicles Lord Rama's journey from one end of the Indian subcontinent to the other and his spiritual voyage from man to deity. In Arrow of the Blue Skin God, anthropologist and journalist Jonah Blank retells the ancient story in a lively prose while following the course of the epic hero's quest through contemporary India and Sri Lanka. In his adventures, Blank encounters a chimerical subcontinent caught between the ancient and the modern from swamis who wrestle both physically and metaphysically, to prepubescent Tamil gorillas barely able to lift their AK-47s, to television actors who are worshipped as living manifestations of Hindu divinities. Sparkling with humor and cultural insight, Arrow of the Blue Skin God is an up-close look at the multifaceted jewel that is India in all its poignant, picaresque, and paradoxical beauty. Well, that already sounds like a really great description. Wow. So um, he has worked for U.S. News & World Report, uh, The New Yorker, uh, the Journal of Vaishnava Studies, uh, and he has taught anthropology at Harvard University. All right, so it sounds pretty good. It actually sounds neat to have like a retelling of it. So I wonder, but it must be like in his personal, in his voice. Kerala, a state with no urban proletariat, no real bourgeoisie, is ruled by the unabashed party-lined communists. So yeah, it must be in his adventures. So he's going through retelling the ancient story but following the course of the hero. So geographically, he is following in the footsteps of Lord Rama, but exploring a more modern version of India. So, but it was written in 1992, so it's not like that recent. So it's like a good 30 years old. Wow. So, um, so there's, there's definitely probably some changes from uh, the observations that he makes in this as well. But it does sound really interesting, and it would be a really interesting way of exploring India on your own if you had some some time. Because to really explore India and each of the cities, because they're all so distinct, they all have their unique characteristics. It is not just like you don't just go to India and just see the Taj. And I fully admit that. That was definitely on my bucket list, and I did see it. However, I know that I have not explored a lot of India. There's very much of it that I would like to go back and see. Um, I would love to go back to Udaipur. I did not get to go there, but I really loved Panjim. It was like my favorite, or Panaji, um, because I really liked the south of India. I thought it was beautiful, but I would like to spend more time in Kerala. Anyway... Let's look at the stuff that comes with the smallest level box, right? Because this is just one book. We got our one nonfiction book, $54.99. Plus, on top of that, we get our Ohio Tea Company. It's Nilgiri, Nilgiri Kora Kunda, a single estate black tea from southern India. Of course. So, of course, we have to get some tea from India. I was glad to see that, or Sri Lanka. Um, so, very nice. So, I, I'm probably mispronouncing Nil, Nilgiri Kora Kunda. I don't know, but I do like black tea and I love chai, so I'm happy with that. Let's see what else we got. Um, let's see, that's our, oh, exclusive coffee and tea. So now they do coffee and tea, how exciting. So this is a Wordy Traveler exclusive. It's from Fair Dinkum Coffee Company. It's a sub, sub base opar parivar, parivar? I don't know, <laughs> sub base opar, Opar Parivar. It does, I can't read the script very well, but it does have a mandala design on it. So I have no idea what the flavors are because it doesn't say on there. So I'm going to have to go onto their website and find out. But I'm sure it's got some sort of like exotic spices going on or flavors. All right. So this is something that they have done as well. So the carryover was the Ohio tea. The new addition was the coffee, uh, which is nice for those of you who like coffee. This looks like a is this like a hairband? It looks like a hairband with a paper clip. I don't know. We've got like a fancy paper clip. So I do like these fancy paper clips. I guess you could use that as like a bookmark. You could use, oh, maybe this is to like close your books. Maybe this is a stretchy bookmark. 
I think it's a stretchy bookmark. I totally thought it was a headband. But yeah, I think it's a stretchy bookmark so that you can mark your page neatly. But also it's really good with paperbacks because um, paperbacks tend to get mushed up inside of your bag and I hate that. So this way it keeps it nice and closed. You know how they have that on like day planners and stuff. So I'm gonna say that it's a bookmark slash book closer keeper closed keeper um and then we also got a charm so we have always gotten a charm this one of course has a little lotus flower which is a good emblem of india and then uh we got it says we got a wood and resin bangle i did not get the wood and resin bangle so that must be only in oh oh yes i did yes i did <laughs> so we got the tea we got the coffee we got our charm that's always like kind of part of it we got our art print as well so the charm and the art print are just like take that you always get that in a wordy traveler box um i love that this one came with an envelope so if you wanted to send it as a postcard you could because it's actually like it's sort of matted look at this cool elephant and then you can actually send it as a card and then on the back it has a little mark for occasion and date but of course you could definitely frame this so it's got some women holding pots on their heads it's got like a palace in the background and then of course it's got this watercolor elephant which of course goes really well with the whole wordy traveler thing so i don't think i have any it's before i started uh, collecting art for my travel wall so we got our charm we got our print we got our Ohio tea, we got our coffee, and then we got two more pieces. So this is a wood and resin bracelet. This is really cool. Very, very modern. So it says, from Delhi-based artisans who are well-versed with contemporary trends have handcrafted this dazzling piece which flaunts an artistic dexterity like no other. This handmade bracelet employs the use of tools as well as requires artisans to be delicate and deft with their hands. These distinguishing techniques result in unique pieces that are hard to replicate. This art form is widely practiced in India and involves long hours of manual labor and precision. This bracelet is a modern take on traditional Indian jewelry. So instead of just like the classic bangles, they gave us this more modern one. Um, like I have a small wrist and a really big hand but it did go on pretty easily but this would be I would have a hard time wearing this because of the size uh, just because it would probably hit on lots of things and I would probably smash those corners so I have to think of something else that I could maybe use that for um, I actually think it would be kind of an interesting way to jazz up like a vase or something and make it more sculptural and, and interesting I like the idea of it I like that it's more modern and that it was made actually by Indian artists but it's just not like a practical jewelry piece for me to wear but I I probably would wear the little lotus charm. I think that's kind of cool. So it's really pretty though. I like the, uh, I'm not sure, oh, the resin that's kind of like modeled to look like marble or something. We have one more item though. We have a uh, hand beaten copper. Uh, what is that? It's so hard to read this. It says iron vats vessel. I don't know. Their font, they need a different font, you guys. It says this stunning offering has been hand beaten to perfection by adept artisans in the brass city of India. So it's actually more silver looking than brass. It says Mur Muradabad. With the elegant texture and crisp shapes, the evocative beauty of hand beaten metal offerings are enduring and universal. The process of making the metalware is complicated with meticulous efforts going into the making of the products. Fine, gleaming, polished metal is carefully, painstakingly hammered all over by hand to produce an organic texture every dint dent nick and impression is individually formed to create a one-of-a-kind pattern because it only requires basic tools hands hammer patience it's one of the earliest decorative styles developed by ancient metal craftspeople today it manages to be prized as ever for precisely these fundamental hand wrought qualities so good good copy on that so it says made in India keep away from perfume sprays do not wash clean gently with damp cloth if necessary it is actually made out of iron that is really cool you guys so it's very very like a uh, silvery but I'm trying to see what the word is it's almost like there was like an ink splotch there so iron votive votive is what it says man that, that font is tough to read so it's an iron votive so yeah you could definitely put a really pretty like little tea light in there and it's it is Diwali so you could have a nice uh, like your own take on a dia um, even though those are usually I think clay so these are cool items I have to say I think they're cool items I personally like 
I think the T is a nice touch. I like boxes that do have something consistent every time. So again, wordy traveler, you're always going to get the number of books that you choose. And if you're a subscriber and you're not buying it as an, on a one-time basis, you actually can choose your titles. They'll send them to you the, at the beginning of the season, I guess. You're always going to get a charm to go along with the destination, a tea and a coffee to go along with the destination, and an art print. So you always get those and then you in this case we got two more beautiful items on top of that for a total of five items six items if you count the charm and if you count the tea and the coffee separately i think the book sounds really good most of the time when they have chosen nonfiction books for me they are ones that i probably wouldn't have found myself and so i am very interested in it and i do like the items that they sent this time they don't feel super touristy they actually feel like nice pieces that you could use in your own home which i really appreciate in a travel box you guys let me know what you thought about this in the comments below great option for gift giving for the reader the traveler in your life so definitely consider it and i'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing